We don't need forgiveness, asshole. Kaine? Seems to work better when I hit the red thing last time, but I'm having a hard time hitting it properly now. Your heart is different. Maybe you have to do it after I knock him down once. And it ain't sadness. What's going on here, Sasha? How should I know? Kaine, are you alright? I'm fine. Let's just kill some shit and move on, alright? Interesting. Oh, how very interesting. And this time we know we can skip everything along the way. Yep. Although I guess I could double check that one cutscene to see if it did have any changes. The Emil one. I don't know if it does. Right. Why is the round gone? I don't know. Somebody must have stolen it. Obviously, Kilo is a pirate. Stay focused, Kaine. I think Listen, Kilo stole all the rum from Kilo. The, 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 at least Come in this on. case, we have to keep well, going. he drank all the rum. He Let's left go. me the weed. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I I just happen to think Johnny Depp looks handsome in eyeliner. This way, That's it. move. I mean, I don't know very many people that are going to disagree with you on that one. Everybody looks better in eyeliner. I don't know if I'd go that far. Don't knock like it till you've tried it. Up here. I mean, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't suit me. Eyeliner doesn't always have to be heavy and black. That said, goth trend are when. I mean, I could be goth without makeup. <laughs> Please, hurry! No? Bing? It's Goth? Okay, goths use makeup a lot, but it's not what defines them as being goth. No, but there is a look that you're going for. Yeah, but that look is primarily the clothes. Listen, a lot of people will think that I'm goth, but in reality, I just only know how to match black clothes with black clothes. That's a <laughs> <of it. laughs> Damn it, I can't. I, I mean, no that's OG kind of a gimme. Goth, so. Attack incoming! I say that while sitting here in blue shorts and a gray tank top. You goth. We are in a bit of a predicament. You're wearing no, well, blue double. No, the clothes are a lie. That sounds more accurate. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually not wearing anything at all. Good, that's the way it should be. That's how we enroll on this channel. That's how God intended us, thank you. <laughs> oh, well, I, sh I better start putting clothes on then. Just fuck that guy. I was gonna say. Kind of an asshole, yeah. I'm not a fan. Hate is just another crush for you. You're in pain, you're lonely, no one likes you. So you try to hide it under violence and hate. Shit, I was muted. Uh, I'm just from the <laughs> south, so because God is a uh, very common thing to hear, I have a reason here. My condolences. Realizing that isn't going to help. It's too late for us now. There is an aspect of the south where that is absolutely too far gone. The case. That's why we. I believe that part of the south is called the south. Um, no. Uh, not all of it, actually. Southern Appalachia, though? Absolutely. Appalachia? Appalachia. It is named after the Appalachian Indian tribe. It is Appalachia, not Appalachia. Not any other pronunciation that you may have heard. Appalachian? Isn't that where Wasteland 3 happens? 
I have not heard of that game, so or, or is it Fallout 76? One of those games takes place around that region. Fallout 76. Well, that's around Colorado, right? Um, no, no, or no. no. All right, it's, it's not. It's not Wasteland 3 then. Yeah. Um, that's funny. 76 is in West Virginia, which is part of the Appalachian Mountain Range. Okay, yeah, I knew it was one of those games. Which, uh, funnily enough, despite West Virginia's, you know, reputation, they were actually the part that split away from Virginia because, you know, Virginia wanted slaves. That's a good reason. Yeah. But, uh, West Virginia is subject to significantly more incest jokes than Alabama, so... <laughs> I mean, there's arcs in Alabama? They must be very shallow arcs. Mm-hmm. Hey, if you can't keep it in your pants, you can at least keep it in the family. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I haven't heard that one in a while. Oh, right, it's a classic. I know that they're gonna have a uh, a new CSI, a CSI Alabama, but they canceled it because uh, there were no dental records and all the DNA was the same. <laughs> I love it. Uh, can't even say that's inaccurate in any way. What is yeah. the old cross the road? Us. We're the same. Tools in the hands of a master. No. To get to the shell station. Nothing like you. Welcome to Georgia, because it's not <laughs> Alabama. Welcome to Florida, because it's not Georgia. <laughs> Welcome to Alabama. Hey, at least it's not California. Uh, 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 it's a whole cycle. I just have to feel bad about the whole thing because I know somebody who lives in Alabama and and really wants to not be anymore. Here's here's my thing: a significant portion of the Southern United States is actually aesthetically beautiful. Look here, but the people kind of ruin it, which honestly is the case for a lot of the world. That's very mm. true. Yeah. Especially a lot of places, actually, where, they, where there's a lot of awesome stuff going on, but also a lot of shitheads all over the place. Like, even more than... Oh, I already skipped the one. I said I wasn't going to skip. That's okay, I'm pretty sure it was fine. <laughs> And and not the fun shitheads that we like to hang out with, Kren. Exactly. Yeah, you could say the same thing about well, Michigan at all, honestly. It's a very picturesque, mm -hmm. beautiful state. A lot of rolling hills, which people don't think is a thing because hashtag the glaciers. It's like, that's not how glaciers work, dumbass. Um, <laughs> but uh, now it's ruined by a lot of people. Because they, you find out you go far enough north, it might have just ended ended up going south honestly I, I i feel like i'm just one of those weird people who thinks nature in general is beautiful oh yeah definitely. you weirdo what's wrong with you like I, I, if you show me an untouched stretch of wilderness anywhere in the world i'm going to tell you that it's beautiful um but then i'm also going to tell you that it's probably not actually untouched yeah. Oh no. At this point, there's very, very, very few places left in the world that are untouched. E even if humans haven't set foot there, I can guarantee you our garbage has gotten within a mile of it. Yeah. That or, I mean, just look at the Chernobyl radiation. They're finding that stuff further and further north than they thought it ever went. Well, I mean, it's also melting down continually. If they're actually at risk at three points right now to have it melt through the walls that they poured to prevent it from going any further. Yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. It, by the way, guys, of... by the way, uh, I just got an achievement from that fight. 
Apparently, you get an achievement oh. if you defeat Devil and Popola within three and a half minutes. Yeah, nice. you do. Which I just did, apparently. <laughs> I was like, Hi. why did I just get an achievement for that fight when I didn't the first three times? Because <laughs> you got good. But yeah, Chernobyl is at risk of melting through the sarcophagus. Which, by the way, badass name. Yeah. Well, which, which sarcophagus? What? What did I miss? Yeah, the structure that they put around the um, material that leaked out of the reactor oh, is called okay. the sarcophagus. Which, again, badass name. It is a good name. Yeah, I know a couple years back they did a uh, recontainment thing there where they were uh, restructuring the wall to help the better. But I still don't run with it. Oh, it, it didn't pay, so good reason not to test it. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people say, oh, well, they're opening it up for limited visitations. I'm like, those people are crazy. And no oh, thanks. No, I, it's not actually, <laughs> uh, they've been open for uh, visitation for a long time. It's actually fascinating. Uh, about. 12 years ago, I did a study on this because I was fascinated on it. Um, and the amount of radiation that you would just absorb naturally by, you know, just existing, that you would absorb in the, uh, in the upper atmosphere, flying there would actually be about twice the amount of radiation that you would absorb being there in a week. Or, That's sorry, crazy. Or a week. So, okay. Hope to stand against the Shadow Lord. Yeah, so speaking as of, as, uh, as long as you stick to the designated areas and you know, don't go into the hot zones, you're basically fine. Oh, gotcha. okay. All right, you defeated Grimoire Nar within one and a half minutes. Another achievement. <laughs> uh, by the way, guys, uh, speaking of Chernobyl, who's excited for Stalker Two? Well, who even played Stalker One? <laughs> Anybody? Uh, have you? Stalker One is pretty rough nowadays, um, but it was very interesting back in its day. Yeah, it hasn't played very well, but in terms of gameplay and stuff, it is yeah. definitely one of the more interesting titles. Okay. Yeah, basically, it's it sorry. Go ahead. It's basically people living in, in the Chernobyl exclusion zone after it happened. And uh, there's some weird sci-fi elements to it because it's, it's, it's created some sort of anomalies. So it's like you'll be walking down a field and then suddenly you'll get sucked into a singularity you didn't see. Or you'll just explode or get turned inside out or something weird shit and it'll happen to you. I hate when I miss the heyday of a game that doesn't age well. Yeah. I mean, it's playable, but it, I, I think it doesn't feel as, as good, interesting as it used to, just because of... Technologically, it's a bit rough. Although that was normal back, back then. <laughs> technologically, it's a bit rough. Probably it had a couple of game features that were fairly unique for the time, but they've probably been copied into oblivion. Another achievement? Not yet, but it happened after the cutscene last time. Alright, we've seen this. Like three times. <laughs> Kindly, watch over Yoda for me. You want me to understand your sadness? I said copied, but I meant you. more along the lines of reproduced. Yeah. Like, slash iterated upon. Yeah, no. Stand aside or be cut down. Yeah. Now come on. There was Let's a feature in a very early video game. In fact, some might even call it the first video game that has never been replicated since, to my knowledge. And that was Kong. Are you there. talking about the um, it speeds up as it warms up thing? Yep. Nice. literally used the feature of the CPU where it created heat by function because that just how semiconductor do. Uh, and 
use that to its advantage to increase the speed of the program. Which, of course, made the CPU run warmer, which made the game run faster. Ah, uh, thermodynamics. Just natural difficulty increase as you play. Now, it did have a limit because obviously they didn't want the chip to burn out, but still, like, absolutely crazy. I love that little fact of the original Pawn consoles. I have something to defend. I have a reason to live. What is your reason to live is to die? Actually, that's sort of what's going on here. Kinda. His his reason to live is to die. He needed to live in order to kill himself. Kinda, yeah. Stripped of context, that is a weird statement. <laughs> right? Oh, you are I did get an achievement, the once and f the once and final king. Defeated the Shadow Lord within four minutes and twenty seconds. <laughs> Heck yeah! <laughs> That's very funny. Yeah. That That's what happens when you fight him twice in the same hour segment and you're getting impatient. <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, that is shot. how I remember uh, how many arms are in the human uh, arm, yeah. or how many muscles are in the human arm. <laughs> what? 420? <laughs> yeah, there are four muscles in your upper arm and 20 muscles yeah. in your forearm. Wow. Ah. Must be little wee ones. Alright, here we go. Kine? Listen to the shit soon. I can't. Kine. Just. <sighs> Alright. I think I just have to survive the first phase for a while. Sunshine! It's not like I can stop it! Because she kind of changed phases on her own without me touching her last time. Of our memories will be completely overridden. Actually, you know what might, might be really awesome here? Actually, oh wait, I don't. Do I don't have the magic anymore. Never mind. I was gonna use that spell where where it drinks in all the enemy bullets. Uh, yeah. But I can't. He don't have vice anymore. Damn it. Yeah, no more vicey. Oops, alright. More vicey. Spirit capsule. I have a cranky spite spell book, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't hurt these things. Can't hurt here. Yeah, I'm just this is just an endurance test. Good thing you got all those fuel items. Yep. We made it this far because you were with us, Kaine. I'm who I'm now that I know I don't have to attack, it shouldn't be as hard. I'm not going to give up on you. I'm not going to abandon someone I love. Just concentrate on defense. I'm going to save you. I swear it. Yep, there it goes. Took a lot less damage that time because I wasn't jumping into it. Yep. I said, lift. All right. Now we will pop a strength cancel. Actually, that should be it. There's a way to save Kaine's life. All right, but you're gonna have to make a difficult decision. Do whatever it takes. When the time comes, I'm going to pin Kaine down. And as soon as I do, you need to stab him in the heart. No, I can't. Fine. Don't do it. Stand around with your thumb up your ass and watch her die in terror. Ah, uh, fine, I will. And you'll like it, too. I want that uh, set, I really do. And here comes the reason why we have to start the entire game over for Rowdy. To save your precious Kaine, there are two ways to do it. Oof. One is to plunge your sword into her chest. That's what she wants after all. Although, Freedom from everything will go differently from what I understand. What's the other way? Or at least a lot the of things will go differently. Is to I'd put my sword in her chest. Human being. <laughs> That's not your sword, Kilo. But to make that happen, you gotta trade your own existence. Yeah, you gotta yeah, trade your own existence. This is very Yoko Taro. Oh, you, you have to trade your own existence for yours. And what that means is it deletes your save file. Or at least tiny. makes you start over without your stuff. You trying to help her? Probably for the same reason you are. 
That's very, very Yoko Taro. <laughs> All right. Indeed. Oh, the strongest bond. Um, defeat Berserk Kaine within three and a half minutes. <laughs> hey. I like how I'm getting. I like how I'm getting all these on the same playthrough. <laughs> just because I just did them all, and now I'm like, yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm impatient. Let's go. <laughs> exactly. Sacrifice your Easier own existence. What's that? Yeah. By your own admission in half an hour. Yeah. It took an hour the first time, but then I was paying it more attention to dialogue and cutscenes then. Your sister, your friends, everyone in your life will forget you. You and any sign that you ever existed will be erased. But in exchange, Kaine will return to her mortal life. She earned it. If you elect against it this time, you can always return to the selection. I'm still sure. Are you really sure? Are you really, really sure? <laughs> what would happen if you did it wrong here? No idea. I've their oh. ass on that one. They're doing the same thing they did in Automata, where they're ma making you watch your data disappear. Yep. I, I gotta give them credit on covering their ass on that one, because, you know, somebody would pitch a fit. Yep. Absolutely. Somebody still did. I bet you. Five times and write your name in. Yep. Here goes all my stuff. We have so many sayings that are work, and uh, CYA is one of them, because <laughs> we can't put it in the chat. And CYA just means cover your ass. It's a good idea. There's also TBSS, which is too bad, so sad. Mm -hmm. oh, also, co levels. also, cover your ass is uh, advice that Kaine never took. And we are all better for it. <laughs> no, we're all better for it. All better people, because mm -hmm. Kanye never covered your ass. Barely covered your tits, geez. Yeah. And we we're glad for that too. Andy. Like I said, I want that cosplay. <laughs> Who said fan service doesn't pay off? I mean, look up DeviantArt. Some people have already done it. Are you all right? Wouldn't it have been amazing if in Rowdy we played Kaine? It was you, the one who helped me. I mean, wasn't it? I mean, fuck. Maybe we do. I don't know. That'd be cool. It would fit the story of what just happened, right? It would, yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was the most awkward. I'm going to want to hug you, but I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> I've seen this want to, before. I want to hug you, but I'm going to grab your hips instead. Yeah, like that's not worse you know, or wrong? weirder, right? Like I said, I've seen this guy mean, before. You defeated yeah. the Shadow Lord and everything, but you. you don't look happy. I don't. <sighs> this is a lunar tear. How pretty. <laughs> Five stamens. You giddy. Are you crying? I think I've seen that hentai before, too. Yeah. Yep. I guess I am.
It's like I just found something special. Something very special. And this, this flirting is real awkward. And uh, for anybody here who's not familiar with uh, the anatomy of a flower, uh, those are the the, the flowers' dicks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stamens are the flowers' dicks. That's why I said I've seen this hentai before. Five dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, that's still so got nothing I on. I um... realized. Oh fuck! What? About four years ago, I saw a glass container that had a little bag of uh, saffron in it. Mm -hmm. In that jar was a literal bag of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> and not only and not only was it a bag of dicks, because uh, if I'm not mistaken, saffron is a whole flower, so there should have been pistols in it as well. And uh, pistols... saffron, saffron is just the stamen. Oh, is is it? Nah. Or at least that's how they give it to you when they sell it to you as an herb. Yeah. That's Funny thing about it too is it has to be hand picked. That's why it's so damn expensive. Yeah, but again, but also it's. It's expensive by weight, but it also weighs almost nothing. So a bag of saffron is still not super expensive, but the the price per pound is massive. Yeah, isn't it worth more than its weight in gold? Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, five thousand per kilogram. Of course, a kilogram of, of saffron would probably be an entire uh, an truck's athlete. worth, or maybe multiple trucks worth. <laughs> well, see, that, that's the thing, too, is it depends on how you get your saffron, because saffron powder, at least in the States, is not typically sold. You get the whole stymen, and in that mm -hmm. case, you have a lot of, uh, there's actually a lot of weight there over a period of time. It doesn't take much to get a very, like, the little jar that I was just talking about, there was, like, maybe eight pieces in it and the damn mm -hmm. thing was 30 bucks at walmart oh, so actually what they sell you is not the stamen for saffron it's the stigma which is equivalent to the ovary okay either yeah. way does either yeah. way got to be delicately picked it's always oh. been defined as the stamen for me all I know for sure is that it's it's small, thin sticks. And I don't know what part of the flower it is. Uh, I just know that it's like filaments, essentially. Let me let me rephrase this. If you are getting good saffron, the highest grade saffron, you are getting. The stigma, which is the ovary. Also, hello, Snowcat. And don't worry, just because we're looking at the credits doesn't mean the, the, that we're done with the game. We're going to be doing... This is the fourth credits out of five. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a snow? There's a snow. I forgot I was yeah. on push the clock. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I'm not on push to talk. That's why I told you guys to uh, tell me if you hear anything. The only thing I've heard is every once in a while I hear your Discord beep, but it hasn't been super often, and I haven't heard anything else. Yeah, I'll I'll mute it, and that's probably what you're hearing the beep for. Yeah, because, I mean, uh, you could probably just put your you could probably just put yourself in do not disturb mode in in Discord, and that way it it'll stop the beeps. I, I'm always in do not disturb mode. Um, oh, well, I don't know why it's not stopping the beeps, then. Uh, it, you have preference on certain things that even in Do Not Disturb mode, it'll still make notifications. 
Uh, yeah, let me, uh... Notifications. Yoko Taro! All caps. Yoko Taro. Man, I hope he makes another Yoko game. Let's see what weird shit he comes up with next. Amazing taste in lingerie. Apparently I wonder he if he is. It all. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure based on the true ending of Automata, that he's planning at least one more near game. Because it kind of implies that. We can see which happens first, another near game, or will Patrick Rothfuss finish the third book? I'm voting near game. From what I know, it is near related. We're just not sure where it falls. Hey, look, you got flower. Yeah, Kataro is. Yeah, flower. I'm just, I just want to see. Yep. Let her go. Um, it's very good taste in lingerie, as I said. Mm -hmm. I actually think it's funny how in Automata you, there's a way that you can blast Tubi's dress off and have her running around without it, but I think she actually looks better with it. You're, you're still yeah, getting those upskirt so shots anyways, and it's 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 more flirty having the, the skirt there, I feel like. Yes. Otherwise she's and just then, walking around in a leotard and that's a little boring. I mean, sometimes you don't want to flirt. Sometimes you oh, just want to get right For some to reason it. that name cannot be used. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to do that. <laughs> okay, you cheeky little thing. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it. Snow, you cosplay 2B and I'll cosplay uh, Kine. <laughs> we'll make That'll a be a fun pair. My only friends. Yeah. Also, uh, Snow and, or Nova and I talked about this already, but we had a fun revelation about this part of the game. Remember the when we very first started the playthrough, and I was like, "Oh, weird! The apocalypse must have messed up the weather because it's snowing in in there." They very specifically told us it was summer, right? That's going to come up here in a minute. But it's snowing. I'm like, oh, it's snowing in summer. That's weird. Later on, I realized, no, it's not snowing. This is ashes. From the, this is the ashes of the apocalypse happening right now cold as hell, but it's I mean, it might be ash and salt. I have no idea what the temperature would be, honestly, but yeah. Uh, this is like super recently after the world go boomy. Yeah, it would I be got, pretty cold. I got a jet, I've got work in eight hours, I will talk to you guys later. Alright, see ya, Kilo. Okay. Thanks for stopping in. Have a good one. Yeah, it just felt like snow, yep. Don't forget your butt stuff. So I'm not clear on exactly how long it's been since the red dragon uh, appeared in the sky and fell and exploded. Uh, but not super long, I don't think. I'm trying to remember, I think it was a handful of years. Yeah, that sounds about right. It didn't happen right away. It was a slow build. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So he accepted the power from Noir the first time around, and that's why he got corrupted. Yeah. That must mean the book in the back by Yona is Vice. Because that was definitely Noir's voice and face. Okay. How are you, how are you going to keep as you speak? Uh, with talent, that's how. I think I assume he means as he's trying to fall asleep. <laughs> that's not what he said. I know that's not what he said, but I assume that that's what he meant. Kilo teach oh. me your secrets. Also, Snowcat, a meal plushie when? Uh, right after we get a 2B plushie. Yes. I just want a 2B butt mouse cat. <laughs> I want plushies <laughs> of them all, damn it. Actually, I, I like my mouse cat, so. Yeah. So, the game's starting off the same way, but I've been told that this playthrough will be fairly different in a number of ways. Have you done this one, uh, Nova? I have not, so this is going to be new for me, too. But the guides do say it'll be different, right? I believe? Uh, yes, there is going to be... 
and like a bunch of new story stuff. I don't know how different, but some amount of different. I, I think so. I'm sorry. <laughs> It'll stop in a second. I promise. Oh, you got yourself all over the mouth. <laughs> but what about those monsters? Are they... Are they gonna come back for me? Don't worry, Yona. I won't let those things anywhere near you. So I know that in the in the part of the game where we play most of the game, see if I can find something to eat. In that time period, the Shadow Lord is controlling most of the shades, or at least the crazed ones. Oh, but they apparently existed before he did. Yeah. So I guess he just took them over. Don't touch that book. Not ever. Got it. Got it. Wait a second, that one looks like Noir as well. Are there two copies of Noir at this point in time? You won't let me go back. Damn, how many of these things are there? That book definitely looked like it was also Grimoire Noir. I was looking at from the edging, and it looked like it had more detail to it. It did, but it looked like his face. It didn't look like Vice is one was the most important thing here. Noir. Yeah, that one's definitely Noir, but the other one looked kind of like Noir as well. Of course, it makes sense that this one's Noir, because we know the Shadow Lord is aligned with Noir. True. Now that we know those things exist. When you first start this game, you don't know what the fuck is going on, so you don't know significance of what the cover book cover looked like. Stay away from my sister. I don't like Dark Hand, but thanks anyway. Level up. Yeah, seriously. Getting OP. This is how the Shadow Lord took over all those shades. He's getting all too much XP too fast. It drove him mad. Level cap and had nowhere to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, trust me, earning XP after you've hit the level cap is definitely maddening. <laughs> I hate that shit. I agree. Level caps are for chumps. Funny how this fight is so much easier the second time around, eh? Uh huh. Of course, they made it kind of easy even the first time, but still. But you don't know the commands as well. You what? You don't know the commands as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Control. 
You don't have your elite strats yet. You don't know your zips and zooms. <laughs> I don't think these are magic shields at this point anyway. Yoda. Meat I strats. Think Kilo, I think Kilo fell asleep on his number pad again. <laughs> oh. Kai, Kai doesn't 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 know lead speak. I avoid things that give me a headache. <laughs> he said lead strats. Yeah, I'm a little sad that I know these things. But, you know. These be, uh. all over the place. Dyslexics by nature cannot beat it. That's fair. I just realized that thing has a fit. <laughs> so does Cat Bus. Who? Cat Bus. I don't know what that is. Oh my god, Brent has never seen my neighbor Totoro. Oh, that thing. Okay. Uh, okay. But no, I haven't, actually. <laughs> you really should, it's it's wonderful movie. I've seen some of the memes, though. Also, I think you. I think I'm realizing now. You said cat bus, but I thought you said cat boss. Yeah, that's what I thought you were saying too. Yeah, I know what cat bus is, although I still haven't seen the thing. I haven't seen any Ghibli stuff, and I and I should. You really should. You really should. I'll, I will take my Pepsi without ice, please. Okay. <laughs> Ever heard the phrase, Jake's, you owe me a Coke? Yeah. I don't drink Coke. Ah, uh, so you're gonna take it as a Pepsi instead. Got it. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll agree with you on that one. Drink Although so Coke, Zero is all so. Coke Zero can be pretty good with a meal. Anything zero can just be set in the hottest of blazes and forgotten to history. <laughs> Don't hold back, Kai. Tell us how you actually feel. <laughs> I have to fall within TOS. <laughs> Jonah, talk to me. It's okay. I'm fine. What about you? <sighs> Those guys were nothing. Okay, good. Hey, by the way... Look at this. I found it while you were gone. Wow. Yes. Is that a cookie? Here. We can split it. No, you take it. No. You need to eat too. Fine. I'll take the small half. No. Come on. You need to keep up your straight. <laughs> <laughs> Yona! Yona! Oh no. I'm sorry. I dropped the cookie. I didn't mean to. Yona? Why did you. You. Yeah, see, that's not Vice. It lo looks like Noir again. The cover's a little different, but the face is like noir. Hold on a second. That's weird. I've got some other thoughts. We need help. It's like there was a second version of Near. Or er, Noir, sorry. Help. Help, us. Help, us. Help, us. help us! 
before they split. What? Sorry, what, I... Kai? What'd you say, Kai? Hello? Imagine, uh, sorry, uh, 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 my train of thought came to an abrupt end, uh, high brain right now. Um, uh. Imagine Noir and Vice being two chapters of the same story. What if at I mean, one point they were bound together? At one point Noir I mean, does say to Vice that, that the two of them are one. There you go. Oh, Yoda. Yeah, but I'm wondering too if it might be a graphical change with the update if somebody screwed up there. Maybe. Did Vice, did Vice, sure just, did Vice look different in the original? I could have sworn one of them, or the one that was up front, was Vice. Or. It was the one that I know. Mm, I'm gonna have to look that up now. Cause I feel like that might not have been accurate. It's an interesting theory, though. It's like, yeah. It's oh, it is. It is. <sighs> and it All would right. be very Yoko Taro to just leave that that way and never talk about it. Yeah. It would be. <laughs> Can I come with you? Better not. I'm prop but I'll bring you back a book from the Yay! I'll see you later. Brother, why do they call you Krendar 2? <laughs> what happened to Krendar 1? <laughs> I killed him. <laughs> this actually reminds me of the the first time I was the first time I was ever exposed to the idea of a video game sequel, because there had not been any before, b back in the day, was when I finished the first Legend of Zelda game. And in the end credits, uh, well, of course, the end credits are very were very short because you had much smaller teams working on games back then. But at the end of the credits for the very first Zelda game, it said "End of Zelda One," and I was like. What the fuck does that mean? Does that mean there's gonna be a Zelda 2? What the hell? And of course there was, but... That was an unheard of concept back then. And it kind of blew my little, uh... 10 year old mind, or whatever age I was at the time. Let me think. I got my NES when I was... When was that? Grade 4 or 5? So yeah, I was like 10 or 11 at the time of Zelda. But I was like 9 or 10 when we got the NES. Interesting to consider that because sequels did exist, but not really in the same way. Well, not to okay. games they didn't. Or uh, I don't I, At that point, I don't think there had been one other than unless you consider Super Mario Brothers a sequel to Mario Brothers. I consider Pitfall I guess. 2 a sequel Oh yeah, Pitfall. Pitfall. You're right, you're right. I forgot about that one. Actually, that was one of my favorite games. That was probably my favorite Atari game ever. Good morning. It was Pitfall 2. How's Yona doing today? Or whatever they called it. I don't remember if they called it 2 or if it was like The Return of or whatever the fuck they said. I, I will say that there is a distinct Her difference between the I type know. of sequel that Pitfall, the Pitfall 2 better. was from I, Zelda to Zelda 2. I yeah, those because those games didn't really have story. You're the finest brother or girl, anyway. I got a request they had the story the that he invented. Since you're going to the trust me. Oh, would you mind it's purchasing the Atari years earlier? They knew it helped well, have an imagination in a game. Thanks, Pope. What's the just something drastic? The way of we really generation. <laughs> Besides, I will. I can't think of any others. But that was definitely one, yeah. Oops, wrong button. Yona? <laughs> sorry, sister, didn't mean to cut you in half. Yona, you're supposed see I'm so I just thought I'd see if the library Yona, look, don't you just need to eat and you really I know anyway, I've got deal.
And I'm curious to see when, when the story is going to take a sharp left turn. And I'm sorry to inform you, but you appear to have a rainbow dildo stuck to your head. I've noticed, actually. Like, right off your forehead. I'm, I'm, I'm a dildo corn. But I can't let any of that distract me. So I looked it up, and yeah, I think it might be a graphical error because everybody mentioned how he touched the black book and not the white book that was backed by Yona. Yeah. Well, part of the thing is that the two books definitely had differently colored covers. Somehow I feel like we're gonna be okay. But they, but they both had noir faces on them. There's no other choice. But I think the one at the front was a black cover, and the one at the back was like a, a greenish color. I didn't actually hear any of that because my internet just oh. flipped. <laughs> I'm gonna say they, they did have different colored covers. They just had the same faces on them. Gotcha. Because yeah, I, I feel like the one in the back had more detail to it. It might have. Probably when they were touching it up, they might have, uh, instead of putting vice on there, they accidentally put noir. Hmm. I wouldn't put it past them in post-production to miss that, because it's so subtle. Yeah, it is. Also, I've said it before, but I love how the, f the fact that the very first time you experience the background music of, the of this zone, it's actually being played by somebody in the zone. <laughs> Although she won't stop playing it if you talk to her. She just stops singing. <laughs> exactly. Ah, uh, Mutton Quest. I remember those old days. I hear the uh, strings stop as well, but the rest of the music continues. Possibly. Yeah, the guitar part does stop playing too. All I know for sure is that not all of it stops. Uh, so yeah, you guys could very easily be right. Well, that just means that there's other musicians that you can't see. <laughs> yep. Hiding in the bushes. That's how it works in most of the in most video games. There's a uh, there's a bard sneaking around in the bushes playing the background music wherever the hero goes. I like out here they're hiding in the sheep. <laughs> One of these sheep uh, screamed more than the other ones when I killed it. <laughs> I I this back to the village. Yes, he did pull me out of a sheep's ass. No, I saw that too. <laughs> Here, I'll do it again. Oh, wait, I missed. Hold on. How'd you miss? <laughs> do you know how I'm big a sheep's ass is? Uh, thankfully, I can say that no, I do not. I'd be concerned, friend. <laughs> you know why? I don't know why I said that. Because <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> this dust in. She's still high, folks. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we lost her. <laughs> I'm still here. No, I think the laughter just got so high pitched that Discord started cutting it out. <laughs> gotcha. Also, I have learned my lesson on this quest. Who's who buys medicine when they can get it in the bridge for free? Exactly. Those free drops suspect. What's that guy? Bridge medicine sounds suspect, I gotta say. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it is. Oh, look at that itty bitty health bar. I know, isn't it adorable? It is. I'm just a little babby near right now. You mean near two? What's that? I said yeah, you near mean near two. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. 
there's no item to pick up up here. Sometimes there's one over there in that corner. Yeah, that random spot. Yeah, it's usually some type of ore. But hey, fun fact, uh, not that relevant right now, but uh, apparently when they did the remake for this, uh, you know how you can only find the eagle egg in the area area? Uh-huh. Uh, the area? Uh, the airy? Gosh, yeah. word. Uh-huh. Um, they apparently... Wait, what? Uh... Huh? Just, just a second, Kai. What, what were you saying, Nova? About the, the, uh, the eagle egg? Yeah, so apparently, in the original game, you lost access to it once you did the airy on that last part where it gets destroyed. Yeah. When they did the remake, they made it so that you can actually find eagle eggs and some of the other rare drops when you do the journal. Oh, okay. That's nice of them. Indeed. Uh, what were you saying, Kai? I was just congratulating Nova on wording properly eventually. <laughs> I mean, we all... We all have a little trouble uh, wording sometimes, don't we? Exactly. Words are hard. Yeah, very much so. Especially when your brain doesn't want a word. I just figured I'd grab a little extra mutton while I'm out here because I know somebody else is going to want some later. Assuming that hasn't yep. changed. I'm not sure. Like I said, this ending is completely new, so... Yeah. All I know is I looked up the endings guide and they said Place where E was going to have a bunch of changes. What are Shades doing so close to town? I don't know how many or when. Or what. Just yes. Yeah. A non-zero amount of changes. God, I'm gonna be a mess. A non-zero amount of changes sounds like something that Dope would say. It does, doesn't it? Now that is a man who's good at words. Oh, fuck yeah. I can't even go hunting in peace any time to get this meat. I can go hunting in peace, I just happen to be hunting shades as well. I just didn't know that when I went out there. Here's that mutton you oh, thank you. I put my flush you cutters. Believe how popular and tell Popolize, you got it. That's a valid question. Um, I don't remember if my favorite part one sword was given to me or purchased. Let me check. Well, oh, the beast sword you bought. Oh, Lily Leaf, Lily Leaf, but before Beast Bane. Okay, Beast Bane eventually. Yeah, but I, I liked Lily Leaf before that. All right, I'm seven hundred away. I know there's gonna. I remember the first time through I got an item drop that was a slightly better sword, but it got replaced by Lily Leaf because that was better. Until I had the crazy amount of money for Beast Bane, that is. room on this playthrough right now. I guess it's locked. Not yet, okay. You know, everything's, everything's the same so far, but who knows when that's going to change. I delivered the mo- oh, and great. Yeah. And I would be surprised if we're a little today. bit here it goes the same before veining off. 
Yeah, who knows? I might look and see if I can find some sort of non-spoilery hint as to when things start to change. Because if I have to play through all of part one with it being identical, then I might do some of that off stream. Although I guess I won't have a lot of time to. I don't have a lot of spare time on Fridays. I tried reading books, so if you have any fun. Hmm. Well, that's a simple. I guess. But if I ever found one. Could a lunar. Sure. With that kind. Hmm. Uh, it's nothing. Okay, um, and please stay out of- Okay. So, you can ignore the side quest and focus on completing the story missions and skip all cutscenes until you do the story mission called Defeat the Giant Shade Attacking Airy Village. Okay. That's not too far in. And then yeah, after the that stuff content. changes? Yeah, the new content begins after you defeat the boss and reach Kaine's body. Okay. That's not bad. Alright. Well, we'll find out about that tomorrow. Alright. Long enough for you to think that you legitimately had everything completely wiped and were playing the game from scratch. Yeah, exactly. And just enough for, for the curveball to really hit you. Very, very Yokotaro. Very much. All right. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll probably be able to experience that tomorrow then, because I, as I recall, that's not too super far through the story. Um, but for now, let's see if we can raid anybody.